it's Ty Bug, and today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine and I'm going to make this as quick as possible so you guys can see how quick I do it. So my makeup routine is a little bit different because I don't wear foundation and concealer. So that was like why I made such a big deal about clearing up my skin because I didn't wear like face makeup really. So this is going to be a little bit different but nothing extraordinary. So the first thing I do is I am a little bit oily right now because I put on my sunscreen and I've just been like relaxing. So the first thing I do is I use my Bling Cat Soft Compact and I got this at Tony Moly. I've used so much of it. I'm hit, I've hit pan. I usually don't hit pan on stuff. So I really like this. So I have two of them. One I keep at home and one I keep in my bag. So I just rub the compact in there and then I start on my forehead. Already you can see all that shininess going away. Then I go on my cheeks. And a little bit on my chin. So right now I'm breaking out a little bit, but that's actually kind of good for this video. So you can see like how you can still not wear foundation and concealer with breakouts and still be confident. Like, I don't wear makeup every single day. I know this is like my everyday makeup routine, but this is my everyday makeup routine when I actually wear makeup. I only wear makeup when I'm going to work, when I'm going to school, or when I am like going out shopping and I know I'm gonna go to Sephora. <laughs> so first I'll show you what I do if I need to wear a mask since everyone needs to be wearing a mask right now. Then I'll show you like what I do when I don't need to wear a mask. And this is very similar to my everyday makeup routine when I'm doing filming, but it's a little bit different. So I'll touch on that in just a second. So then after I do the, um, the powder, then I go in with my bronzer. It's the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Island Ting. And the thing I like about these two things is they come with mirrors so I can do this on the go. This is also the makeup routine I do when I am on vacation. These are all the things I always bring. So I get my forehead. So this is for um, just mask wearing. So I only go down to my temple and see it bronzes it up a little bit. It's gonna be kind of hard to see it on camera because I'm not doing a makeup routine that's gonna be good for camera. I'm doing a makeup routine that's gonna be good for in person. So you don't wanna do super dramatic things because for camera, you have a lot of lighting, so you can get washed out really quickly, so you put more bronzer on. But in real life, people are going to see how much bronzer you have on. I know people shouldn't be getting that close to you right now, but people can still tell. So I just get the edge of my forehead. And then since I wear a mask, I don't want this to look super pale. So I do a little bit right above my brow bone, right above my brow, just to kind of like shorten my forehead a little bit. Then after I do that, I go in with my Love Liner. This is the one I got in Japan. This is the Jasmine one. I use this one instead of my Fenty Beauty one because it's a lot more natural looking. It's not as like dark and opaque and it's a lot easier to get off, honestly. So if I'm putting on eyeliner every single day, I want something that I can take on and off really quickly. What I do is I do one stripe up from the corner, then I connect it, and then I go against my lash line. I don't want it to be super dramatic or anything, I just want it to like kind of enhance my eyes a little bit. And then I fill in that little stripe I did. See? Just like that. Real quick, simple liner. and. To kind of help you guys, I lean against my lashes with a uh, pen brush so I can get as close to my lash line as possible. Then for the other eye, I know some people have a little bit harder on the left eye. You're just gonna do the same little stripe. I have a little bit of a harder time with this one. can't get it. There we go. Fill that in. This one's a lot sharper. So I'm just gonna do a little scratch. 
There we go. Two wings. Then for my everyday mascara, I use a very different mascara than all my other makeup looks. I don't think I've ever talked about this mascara. It's the Bad Gal Bang Benefit Mascara. I think this mascara gives you a really natural look. It separates your lashes, it lengthens them while still looking like your own lashes. So it doesn't look clumpy at all. It, it's awesome. So I just quickly brush it up. Let that sit for a little second, go to the other eye, and then I'm gonna go back to that. I always do two layers of mascara. For this, I usually don't do my bottom lashes just cause sometimes my mask will ride up and I don't wanna like accidentally get any smudges. And I'm also just a little lazy. And then I'm done. That's all I do for if I'm gonna be wearing a mask. I am a sleepy girl. I like to sleep for as long as possible. So I like to keep my makeup as quick as possible. I don't do my eyebrows. I don't do any foundation or concealer. I just do some powder, but like, see, look at that. It like kind of smoothed out my skin a little bit, gave me like a natural glow, kind of shortened my forehead and gives attention to the eyes. So then if I'm not wearing a mask, this is where it gets a little bit different. I add in blush. Sometimes when I'm wearing a mask, I'll add in blush like just around my eye area but that really depends on what I'm wearing that day. So if I'm not wearing a mask, I usually go in with blush before the um, bronzer, but that won't really matter on this. So the sad thing about this is I don't have a little mirror in here, so I just use this mirror. And I'm just gonna go up on the apples of, not really the apples, like this is the apple, I'm gonna go above that a little bit and then slowly bring it into the apple. Cause you don't want it to be too low cause that lowers your face. And I also really enjoy this blush. Oh, I forgot to say it. It's the Buxom Wanderlust Primary Fuse Blush in Mykonos. Cause if I have any redness on my acne like this one, this blush kind of like covers it up. So it doesn't look like I have redness cause of the acne, it looks like I have natural blush and you don't want it to be too harsh just a little bit on the nose and then you're going to try and connect up to what you already have then just to draw in your forehead into what you have going i'm just gonna dust that on right above where you put your highlight in a little tiny bit on the chin, just like on the bottom of the chin. And just connect that all. And you're done. Oh wait, no, you're not. Sorry, wrong. Then you're gonna add some bronzer to right underneath where you did that blush. And just want to connect that to what you already have. And then a little bit on the chin, just to kind of carve that out, give you a little bit of a jaw. Because we like having jaws. And then sometimes I do on the outsides of my nose to kind of lessen that blush. So I don't look sick, I look glowy. Then once I'm all done, I may start looking a little bit um, too glowy. So I'll go back in with my compact, my powder compact. And I usually just hit the center of my forehead again. And you're done. That's my everyday makeup look. It's super duper quick. I use powder, bronzer, eyeliner, mascara, and blush. This is my essentials.
I think it gives you a really nice look. You look very natural with a little bit of like, ooh, pay attention to my eyes. And yeah, I mean, for filming, I add in eyebrows and I use my uh, Milk Mascara for a little bit more volume, but, and a lipstick obviously, but this is it. Like when I just do every day, I just wear chapstick. So yeah, <laughs> just wanted to give you guys a little something to add on now that you guys have clear skin, hopefully, thanks to my uh, glow up at home skin video. I hope you guys are improving on your skin. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you give it a try. It's a super easy look. Um, when I travel, I usually just bring these two brushes. I have my bronzer brush and my blush brush. brush. And yeah. So I hope you guys are healthy and safe. I will try to do a couple more videos before the holidays, but I will be taking a break again for the holidays to hang out with my family. So I'll let you guys know in my video game video since that will be sooner or closer to the time. So yeah, hope you guys are healthy and safe. Love you. Bye.